Look at the broad grammatical construction here. Vietnam veterans is the subject here. They returned and did not offer the warmth. That really changes the meaning. It leads to a meaning that the Vietnam veterans did not offer the warmth to themselves. Whereas the intended meaning is that America did not offer such warmth, gratitude and enthusiasm to these veterans. So answer choices which do not have something like a that here. So that the reference becomes America you see and America that had been tormented and that did not. So America that A and that B. That would be the correct construction. In answer choice A, this phrase did not offer is referring to Vietnam veterans and therefore answer choice A should be eliminated. Same problem with answer choice C, Vietnam veterans returned and did not. So C must go. Same problem with answer choice E, did not offer is referring to Vietnam veterans and not America. So choice E must go. Even in choice B, you see Vietnam veterans returned to America tormented by something and offered no warmth, gratitude and enthusiasm. So even here, this phrase offered no warmth etc. is referring to Vietnam veterans and not America. So once you understand the meaning, you can eliminate all the four answer choices. Now let's also look at it from the tenses point of view. Vietnam veterans returned to America. This is something in past and that America was tormented by the controversial conflict is something that happened further in past. Remember when a sentence has two actions in past and one action is more in past then past perfect tense is the correct usage. So answer choices A and B have one more problem of using simple past tense where past perfect tense is needed. Choices C, D and E, they use past perfect continuous tense. So yes, when there are multiple actions in past, the actions which are more in past and continuous in nature require past perfect continuous tense. So the usage of past perfect continuous tense in choices C, D and E is appropriate. Then please don't be bothered by this usage an America. Yes, you do not use an an before a proper noun. But please understand the meaning here. The meaning here is that the Vietnam veterans returned to a kind of America that had been tormented. So because of this peculiar meaning here, the usage of this article an here is alright. Answer choice C commits one more mistake that is to put information which is crucial to the meaning of the sentence between two commas. You see this phrase which had been tormented by something is crucial to the meaning of the sentence and therefore this should not be kept between two commas. We do not need a which phrase but a that phrase. So that's another problem with answer choice C. Answer choice E also has this awkward construction in to be enjoyed. Simply enjoyed is better. So choice E must go. Let's confirm choice D now. Vietnam veterans returned to an America that had been tormented by something and that did not offer. So America that had been tormented by something and America that did not offer A, B and C. So the reference is very clear. That is referring to America and not veterans which is crucial for conveying the intended meaning of the sentence. This an America here is alright because it refers to a version of America. So an America that did not offer A, B and C enjoyed by soldiers returning from other military actions. Makes complete sense. D is the correct answer choice here.